At any given moment, a person is getting a tweet from somebody, a comment on Instagram, a comment on Facebook, and they're getting text messages from like dozens of people. So when you're texting somebody, you're just one of dozens of people that they're interacting with over text. So at some point, you're going to actually have to man up or woman up if you're the girl and call that person so you can actually set yourself apart from everybody else that they're talking to. So I actually brought along one of my real dope ass YouTube friends by the name of Kristen. We're going to give you guys a list of do's and don'ts on making the first phone call. Now the first thing you got to think about is what time do you want to make this first phone call? Now you can make it early in the day but that might be a bad idea because you might experience something like this. Here goes nothing. Hey, what's up? What are you up to? Oh, not much. I just, just finished eating right now. What about yourself? Oh, not much. I'm just trying to get some housework done for my mom. Who are you talking to? You're supposed to be doing the dishes. I'm not talking to anyone. Shut up. Did you just tell me to shut up? No, sorry, not you. Oh man, I thought you were talking to me for a second. I was like, sorry. So sorry, she's been on my case literally all day. Oh man, don't just trap them on the floor. Ew, that's disgusting. Wait, are you talking to me or? Don't forget, when you do with that, put food in the dog's bowl. Okay, mom, I said I would take care of it for you. You don't have to get snippy. Are you talking to your mom again? I'm so sorry, listen, can I just call you back later? Yeah, maybe we should just talk later. Make sure you fold these clothes before you go anywhere. I'll just talk to you later, okay. Okay, yeah, that didn't go too well. As you can see, in the daytime, people got work, people got school, people got family around. Odds are you're gonna get somebody's divided attention on the phone and that's not the end of the world but that's not what you want in your first phone call so one of my suggestions is maybe call them later in the evening when they got some more time and it might go a little something like this hello hi am i speaking to kristen please yeah this is her what's up yes yeah, it's uh josh from yesterday oh hey what's up are you sick or something you sound kind of weird oh yeah no my voice is always this deep yeah, yeah yeah has anyone ever told you that you have like a really cute voice Okay, okay, I admit, I might deepen my voice a little bit, but we've all done it. You know, we've been on the phone late at night with somebody, and we got a cool little sexy nighttime voice going on. You know, nothing wrong with that. But one thing you definitely want to be careful of is that you don't call them too late, because then you might experience something like this. Oh, what a great party. I think I'm going to call Kristen. <sighs> Uh, Hello? What do you want? Kristen, it's me. Leave me alone! Oh, damn. That girl's got an attitude problem. But you know what, man? You call me at 4 in the morning, I'm probably gonna act the same way because there's one thing I love in life that's sleep. Don't interrupt my sleep. Don't call me when I'm sleeping. Don't touch me when I'm sleeping. Don't breathe around me when I'm sleeping, damn it. So you definitely gotta be careful about calling somebody too late. Alright, this following suggestion that I'm going to make is primarily for guys, but can definitely be for girls too. Now, when you're going to call somebody for the first time, you should never, and I mean like ever, call them while your friends are around. I'm serious, folks. Don't call them while your friends are around, because if you do, you might experience something like this. You know, that's good, dude. I'm calling you. You're going to call your mom? No, the girl I met yesterday. You gonna call that girl you met yesterday? Yeah, the girl I met in Alaska yesterday. Yeah, dude. Call her, dude. Idiot. She sounds hot. Uh, hello? Hey, what's up? Yeah, it's Josh. The, yeah, the guy from yesterday. Yeah, I remember. I'm wondering if maybe tomorrow if you're not... Hey, Josh! Busy. Stop touching my dick! What did he just say? Don't listen, that's just my No, friend. seriously, Josh! They got my penis! Are you touching someone's penis? Josh, sh shut up, man. I just met her yesterday. Hello? <gasps> no, Josh, just... stop grabbing on my dick, man. Josh! Well, this is weird. Yeah, don't make that phone call around your friends. That's probably your best bet. Now, this last suggestion is one that I do most. It's your best bet. It's the safest one. It's the one where you send a text ahead of the call. 
Now, the important thing about this text is that you want to say something that hints that you want to call them, but you're giving them the option. Now, if the girl's not interested, she might make up an excuse, and that sucks. But that's better than calling the girl and getting the embarrassment of either getting shut down or getting the voicemail. But if she's interested, it's probably going to happen like this. Now that's usually one of the best responses you can ever get from a person when you ask that question. Now, if you call a person, there's a good chance that they might be in a room full of people and they're not going to talk to you the same way as if they were alone. So if they say call me in five, that usually means they're running into the room, they're going to close the door, they're going to get comfortable, they're going to go somewhere private, they're going to give you their full attention. So that means that person's interested in you, they want you to call them, you're good to go, man. Call that person, do it. Go. Alright y'all, now I know we made some jokes out of all these situations, scenarios, but I'm hoping you still got some insight on when and when not to call the person for the first time on the phone. Uh, if you did like the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my good friend Kristen's YouTube page, she's got a lot of dope videos. I got my Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all down below. I love you guys, leave comments, peace.